Hi. Hi. Some no na as young. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Chief Ntachak Sema Chief, Mini Commander in Chief. Hmm. Babes, I'm Commander in Chief. Nice. I'm not just a common chief for the villagers. Online. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm on a date, guys. Wale ni walikuwa na wanadai kuwa na mbona sina manzi. Leo mtachua. You will know the reason why. Yeah? We have our lovely, maybe she can introduce herself. Hi, my name is Lulu L. Miss L. Mm-hmm. You are L. Mina Ngoja, the other name. Oh, Lorraine. My name is Lorraine. Who is Aluvisia in all of this? What? Yeah, it's Lorraine L. Aluvisia. I'm Chief Jeff Aluvisia. Aluvisia is my name. Mm. Yeah, I thought it's high time you. Mm. So I do. Not when we bid for that stuff. I'm like, so then what do you have to come when we bid? Oh, okay, good point, good point. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I think uh, this is a question I always ask you. Uh, no, almost every every date. Speed or swallow? Yeah, speed. Ah, why would you? I actually even don't do that. I find uh, it disgusting. Oh yeah, no, me too. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Find it mm. like yeah, I'm like yeah, let's just stop that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Any question? So even mm. if I offer it right now, like. uh, I might have to think twice about. Am I intoxicated? You know, I make bad choices when I'm influenced with alcohol, but I take credit for each and every choice I make, hundred percent. That's why I'm in this sort of competition. You know, as a matter of fact. If you are the prize I'm going to be in that competition for sure. <laughs> it's just what I do guys. It's just what, <laughs> it's what I do. <laughs> it's what I do. Hey, look, look, I have a question for you, yeah. Mm-hmm. What why are your pluses in men, you know? Like, My what? Pluses like what do you like in a guy? What do you enjoy? Love language rather. Oh, if it's a love language, how can I put it? Quality time. Quality I love time. Quality time yeah. a lot. I have a watch. That's a should tell you something i keep time are you sure i try thank you for being honest mm-hmm. quality time what are we doing with this quality time it's chilling it's just chilling i mean it depends like uh-huh. quality time is me so long as two we are together mm. Mm. okay i can do that i can make it work but for me i uh, i've recently discovered something i'm really interested in someone who gives me mama's vibes like anaza ni chunga unani get umekula unage you need to eye on your stuff like but see, that should just come like naturally mbona lazima uchunga for me i love my man being a man uh, like sifa iko na kuambia kitu cha kufanya like see kodi kasi ya kula okay kau ya kula obviously i'm there to cook for you like yeah, i need some yeah but i'm not going to be a parent for a grown man okay so it's <laughs> juku Mm-hmm. Hey, anyway, what are your ex? Someone who's dirty. Dirty. And yeah, someone uh-huh. who curses a lot. Ah. Mm, like neither who, of those things. Yeah, just negative. Negativity, dirtiness. Mm. I'm 100% clean. I'm Let the... me see your nails. Let me see your nails. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, una jeli bidi ni siangalie kwaza. You're good. Sikosa? Una naza fanya ile kitu. Anyway, by the way. I recently discovered an ache. Not recently. And it's a maybe all the babes you think like I've been doing this since day one. Why are you focusing on all the babes that you should be focusing on? Facts. Let me. I'm short sighted. I can I can see you. Let me just focus on you entirely. Can you know what I Ni wewe. Man with your life. So, um this this, you know, um You can shower, we can have a shower together like in the event. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. That's okay, yeah. But there's an ick in it for me. You can't use the washroom while I'm there in the shower. I mean, there's just something about seeing a lady pee. It's just it's Even not... like if we've dated like five years down the line. Uh maybe with time but in the yeah, beginning time, stages. Yeah. That's I just didn't sign up for that, you know. I, I don't want to see it. I just don't want to see it, you know. Like then some extra shakes na na na. It's traumatizing actually. This is from a point of view. <laughs> But that's just you know ik to you. I don't know if you're gonna choose me at the end of this. What's your ik in bed? In bed. Mm. No, a lady who doesn't do anything. She's just there to be pleasured. I mean, 
you know you, you need to get you need to keep the machine running if you know what i mean yeah we we uh, mimi as a matter i used to take um i was on fruit salad for some time and that was mostly for fitness and you know to watch my weight and stuff like that but right now i'm taking it for blood supply you know blood circulation it do up but i also need your help in this man sezi yo kitu hizi simama peke yake tu hivyo yeah i need you to do can't turn you on without just you looking at me i you will a couple of times actually forever true, yeah but there are stages to this thing for play i'm in all in what type of folklore um i'm the cop you the thug i'm going to arrest you get me put you with cuffs <laughs> interesting yeah mm. so anyway i think that's my time <laughs> choose wisely <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah i'm uh, i'm luya by the way you know we neighbor luya so i'm the i don't want to say the next best thing but i am the best thing so we'll see I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> such nice nails. Thank you. They look so good on me. Back, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm yeah, I'm Kelvin. What's mm-hmm. your name? I'm Lauren. Lauren. Mhm. Yeah, I like it really sound so good rolling off my lips. <laughs> so, yeah. Mhm. You having a good time? So far so good. So good. We can But we can it could be better. Cheers. Ching ching. But anyway, mm-hmm. I've been reading a lot on on signs and the road has led me here so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So, do you mind? Wow. Let me do a little bit of palm reading. So this is called Love Life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you look at my hand right here mm-hmm. it starts from it ends at the index finger mm-hmm. so we're already between so we are kind of on the right path on the right path for sure tell me tell me about you and no give away well i i to keep it simple um dark tall and handsome but you can already see that okay um, i'm an artist mm-hmm. i love beautiful things <laughs> What's your biggest turn on in in a woman? Obviously, you gay. You know, I'm I'm an open-minded person. That's why I'm an artist. <laughs> okay. In a woman, a turn on. You know, it 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 spans a lot of context is important when we're talking about a turn on. But I would say I love ties. Mm-hmm. This there's just something about them, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's all about them, and I love when when a woman sp- speaks. There's there's that sort of diction when they put to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you put the diction, I'll give you the the, the you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. So that turns that turns me off. What about you? Tell me how someone speaks to me. Speaks to you. Yeah. So do you when you're in the act? Do you love someone who talks to you? If I'm emotionally attached to you, yes. If I'm not, just shut up. <laughs> yeah. And what does it take for you to get emotionally attached in the act? You no, know, someone can have good action. Mm, I don't know. Like it downs up to a lot. Mm-hmm. Like if I like you, if we communicated well, if our connection and vibes everything is okay. Checking all the boxes in my head right now. Mm. Mm-hmm. What's the worst thing you've ever done to a bit? The worst thing. Uh, I think maybe lie, lie to a babe, and yeah. that's something I'm not going to do again. That's for sure, mm-hmm. because honesty, honesty is a beautiful thing mm-hmm. if you think about it. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, what about you? What turns you on? I already answered that. Oh. How you treat me? Mm-hmm. How you talk to me? To give me on a, time. On a like, on a like first, first viewing step before you even know the guy. What But, gives him a chance? I think vibes. Mm-hmm. And if I like like you physically. Mm-hmm. I, I want you to dig deep into the physical aspect. Yeah, uh, like yeah, tall. Mm-hmm. I like I love tall men. Mm-hmm. Love dark skin men. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's nice. And I love 
like I usually just want because I'm small. Mm. I want some like if I hug you, I just mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. you like much. And what don't you like? What's an egg? Oh, my egg. Mm. Rudeness, like how you communicate, like negativity. Mm. Mm. Here I am with all positivity for you. So I will ask you this: this much more intimate, you know? Are you okay? Let's let's not go into that first. What's your favorite position? Can I just drink to that? <laughs> Yo, I don't want to answer that. You don't want to? Yeah, but I'd I'd like to know yours. Uh, missionary, because we're both pretty, first of all. So you can look you in the <laughs> eye. <laughs> can, I can get lost in your eyes, you know. Mm-hmm. So I can talk to you. Mm-hmm. you know, so you can see. Would you ever want to have a threesome? It it depends really on what level of freakiness have we reached as two of us before we can include another one. But uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't because it's the the intimacy thing. It's, Would you? Ever sit down and watch your baby? Nah, nah, I will sit and watch her pleasure in myself, for sure. But another, okay, maybe if it's a chick, that's just me and my and my desires, so to speak. But What's your type of foreplay? Foreplay. Um, should I go into details with this? It all depends with you, honey. <laughs> I love nipple play. Mm-hmm. Also, I love doing something with I like my hands busy mm-hmm. and I like my tongue busy if you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. I think foreplay is a, is a slept on aspect sometimes it's usually better than the sex itself if done correctly yeah because most babes don't come with penetration on yeah yeah just because most babes haven't met me you know <laughs> but lucky for you <laughs> Like for you, we, we, we've taken our first step, you know? <laughs> <laughs> What's a non-sexual turn-on for you? Non-sexual turn-on? Mm-hmm. If, that's a good question. That's a word. <laughs> well, I would say uh, a non-sexual turn-on. Mm, if, if you're taking an order, for example, and my order is wrong, and then she, she gets all aggressive and shit to someone who gets, who, who's, who's wronged me in a way. Mm, like yeah. anaputetea. Yeah, like, mm. like, you can speak point, for yourself. I, I do, but I also like someone who can speak for herself. Nope. Okay. Mm. I've had a nice time. I think mm-hmm. we should take the last shot. Cheers. Cheers. You seem nervous. Am I? I'm in the presence of a really beautiful woman. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I'll see you in the next round. Breathe in. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they were okay. There were a little bit of some cockiness. And moja likuwa sana mungini likuwa po katikati, but likuwa to sour. Both in their own way. Yeah. Yeah. I'd want to say both because they were interesting, especially because I asked a specific question that I really wanted to know. But someone gave me one detailed answer that's came. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> See, I'll be back and here I am. Nice what? to meet you again. Hmm. What if they actually support? Team Arsenal. <sighs> I chose uh, the right uh, man. <laughs> Oh my days. I chose the right <laughs> man. It's a perfect match, isn't it? <laughs> mm-hmm. So, that's, that's a question you had for me? No. Mm. Let me ask you something. Mm-hmm. Let's say if I'm on my period. Yes. Would you still do it? It depends if you want me to do it. Uh, I've asked you a question. Uh, yes. I would. Mm. I'm not still like that. I don't know if that was the right question right way to answer the question or not how do you handle conflict conflict by communication conversation with whoever i'm in conflict with because at the end of the day i love that person on whichever level it is 
whether it be romantic or on a friendly basis. I don't like angry sex. Oh, oh, we're going there. We're going to there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you found me there. I do. I do. You do. Mm. And then after that, what happens? After that, then we have the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, 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 mm, out of you, the anger out of you. <laughs> and in, in, in a way, I take the anger out of myself too. So after that, we are all cooling down. What's the most romantic thing you've ever done for a baby? Hmm. I wrote her a letter, first of all. It's mm-hmm. Kwandika Dedix Kama High School. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote her a letter. It was, it was an, an, our anniversary. So I wrote her. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not even. I'm a low man. What's going on? <laughs> That's mm. the only L I'm taking. I thought it was me. I already have you, so I don't need any other L in nah, my life. Nah, nah. Uh-huh. So I wrote her a letter, a really romantic one, and I sent I sent flowers and chocolate to a place of work. Oh, then afterwards cute. we went for dinner, and then went to my place. So it wasn't even about sex. We didn't even have sex. We we stayed. Why are you oversharing? You have that effect on me. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your perfect date? My perfect date. It has to involve some type of activity, mm. which loosens up my 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 date. That would be you. I don't want to to be like an interview type of thing. So right now we are having an interview. Nah, I'm just painting a picture. You know, I'm an artist. <laughs> so yeah, I would like you to be yourself at the first date. That's why I can tell if if it's going to work or not. What's for you? What will be your perfect date? Yeah, activities. Activities. Yeah, like sometimes sitting down and just like sitting down and talking. Mm. You don't even have a lot to say. Now someone will just give you scripted answers. Yeah, for sure. I'll rather get to know you with activities, not necessarily going out, mm. even just like just doing something. Mm. Yeah. You get to know someone like if they can be fun, if you get. Yeah. What's one thing you would like to share with your partner? Just one thing, at the top of your head. Whether it's an activity, whether it's whatever. I'd say my mental health. Your mental health. Yeah. So you like to like vent. Yeah. Mm. Cause I love being a baby. Mm-hmm. I might just have like I know I can handle it, mm-hmm. but I'll call and be like, "This and this happened today. I'm just venting." Uh, Once I tell you, I'll be okay. So you like someone who listens to you? Yeah. yeah. I do. I've I've not had a positive experience with that, but since it's you. I'm willing to give it a try. Yeah, you've already said you haven't had a positive experience with that. Yeah. But uh, mental health is usually something deep. Mm-hmm. So it's a sacrifice. For when sure. it, uh, exactly when it comes to a relationship. So it's really a sacrifice. Do you think you can enter into a relationship with issues? Issues, define issues. Mental health, for example? Right now, no. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'd rather... Because I've done it before mm-hmm. and it weighed us down, both of us. Mm-hmm. That was my fault in that relationship. Mm-hmm. Right now, I'd rather be in a relationship where I know I am positively okay, both mentally, physically and emotionally. Yeah, my thing for a relationship is I'm not looking to find a better half because I'm whole by myself. One plus one is not two. One plus one is three. There's me, there's you, and there's us. Okay. Mm. Do you think we can do this again? Yeah, most definitely. You know, I like a challenge, but I mean, I only got a second date because I'm that guy. You know what I'm talking about? I enjoyed the company, I enjoyed the questions. They're very thoughtful. The only thing maybe I, I will put a start to is uh, venting to me. I have a bad history about that. But I will um, accommodate that because, I mean, Did you see her? (laughs) So, I will definitely want to do it again. And uh, commiserations to the competition. (laughs) It was absolutely amazing. 
it's a uh, it's unfortunate how could you choose it's her loss no my loss you know at the end of the day because i'm i'm him othi i'm him i'm the guy who can see john cena you know you know what i'm talking about yeah it's choosing some niggas supporting arsenal come on this nigga is going to fumble as in i'm an everton supporter trust the process let's go to office so good so good is on yeah any further questions turn off I, i didn't have any she's an absolute babe this chick looks like she's been coated in honey it's quite unfortunate that she didn't pick me again it's her loss now my loss yeah this this is this is a fake she picked some like nini some low grade low guy over here talking about is it so feeling nigga shut the fuck up man <laughs> stukati kitu anyway comment what to comment who was the best guy because i think she made a, she made a terrible decision yeah make him comment <laughs> <laughs> comment okay we can we can wrap it up